Hey guys, welcome to another edition of Toothpicks. Today we're going to be doing some pull port. Got this pork shoulder or pork butt today. So sit back, relax, grab your beer, grab your favorite beverage, and stay tuned. So all right guys, let's get started. So got some things today. Got some Boston butt or your pork shoulder. Guys, this is about a 10 pound, maybe 11 pound pork shoulder. I got this um, in one pack. Um, usually they come in like two packs, but today I got it in about one pack. So, I got some things um, that I'm gonna be using with today. Um, I got some injection marinated, I made it, and we got a couple rubs, and we're gonna be putting on it today. All right, guys, so let's get this started. Um, Let's see, let's turn this over to show you what's going on. We got the bone right here that you usually see where people want to pull out right there. And guys, I want to excuse you on the light because um, it's early in the morning over here. Um, not real early, but about maybe around 8.30 a.m. And this looks like it's going to be storming a little bit later today. So the light's not too good today. Let's turn this over. You got your fat cap right here, guys, on the back. There's really not a lot of trimming to this, guys, except some, some pieces that are hanging off right here so first thing you want to do as far as trimming this thing guys have your sharp knife and I would probably just trim a little bit off right there put it to the side and sometimes I like to score the back so that's what I'm going to do on here I'm going to score the back you know lets me know I can get a little more seasoning in there do some cross hatches and this is you know not mandatory you know but um, I'm doing it today you don't have to do that at all turn this back over see what else you you got some extra meat hanging off right there a little bit of fat hanging off not much and you want to feel around guys and feel for these little bones you want to take those out because when you pull this you don't want people to be biting on the bones just feel around for some more little bone shrivels Let's see. Really not a lot. Just keep filling. Not a lot of bones. So it's not too many bones. We're not gonna do any more trimming to this guys. I'm gonna go ahead and inject this bad boy. So I'm keeping on my gloves. Until I touch my rubs. I'm gonna go ahead and get some injection marinade. So I'm gonna go over here. Get some of that injection. All right, get it full. And what this injection has, and in case anybody um, wondering, I'm not gonna go into great detail how much I put in what, I'll put that in the description. Um, but what it's got, it's got apple juice in it. It's got some apple cider vinegar. It's got some garlic powder. It's got some granulated onion. It's got some Worcestershire sauce. It's got a little bit of hot sauce. Um, got a little cayenne pepper as well, and some dry mustard. Um, and I'll show you guys, a lot of times I make my own injections. Um, sometimes I get them from other people or, you know, like we all do. Um, just try stuff new to see how it tastes. So let's go ahead and get this thing injected. So I'm just going to inject anywhere I want real deep. Push it in a little bit. Turn it. Push it. Come to another spot. Push it. Push it. Get it in there. You kind of pull back as you do it. You might get some drippage coming out. Get a little more. I'm gonna show you something, guys, that we, you know, a lot of barbecues know about. And it's this money muscle that runs across here. As you can see, let me lift that up. It's coming right across there. And when we take it off, we'll be um, just showing you before I pull it. Once it gets done, I'm going to inject it in there a little bit. Go with this grain. All right. So let's get some more in the bottom. Some more injection. And if anybody got any tips, um, they think, you know, I could be injecting a little better. I don't mind you giving them. Um, just don't be rude about it. But, you know. It's in here or there. So, I think you got that on there, guys. Pretty much set in stone. Got some injection in there. 
I got a little more. Let's, let's put it right here deep. All right, got that little ejection. Got that vinegar in there. Go ahead and take off one of these gloves. Okay, and I'm gonna show you this book where I got this um, injection from. This book's called Flavorize, if you can see it. Um, Dr. Barbecue, um, Dr. Ray Lampe. If I'm saying this name wrong, I wanna apologize, but it's called Flavorize. Pick this up on Amazon. And it's got some injections in there. It's got some rubs in there if you wanna get it. Um, it's a real good book. I found some real good ones in here. Um, I tend to experiment with my own, but you know, mine's not perfect. These guys already have them. They already got this down to science, you know, so you can use this. You can buy this on Amazon. Like I said, it's where I got mine. So I'm just going to put that back over here. I'll put the link in the um, description box to let everybody know uh, where you can go find that at. So I want to uh, go ahead and get some mustard. Okay. So I got this um, mustard I'm using today, guys. It's called uh, Walbers. Sweet and spicy mustard. It's a sandwich spread. I got at Kroger's. So let's go and get that on there. I'm put a little bit. You can put olive oil on these things, man. You can put whatever you want. But this mustard, it really doesn't do anything for it. Um, it gives it a little flavor, but um, all it does is gonna help my rub hold. Get that all over there. Take this. Let's turn it over. Put some mustard on here on the back. Excuse my voice. Get it all over. Cutting more wants to keep cutting, turning on me. Paper towel. Make sure you get it all over there on the other side. Turn it back over. All right, guys. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take this I'm gonna paper towel like wrap. So I'm going to touch it. Well, forget that. Let's go ahead and put the rub on. <laughs> so, what I got today, before I put this in the pan, I, wanna, I got some salt and black peppers. I got um, kosher salt, coarse black pepper. I'm gonna put this on first, guys. You can put any kind of rub you want. Put this on first as a base layer. And then what I'm gonna do after that, I got this Suckle Busters. Got it from um, a little butcher shop up here in uh, Midlothian. Or not Midlothian, Mansfield. Um, it's called the Beef Jerky Store. Um, Texas Beef, Beef Slabs of Texas. Um, I'll put the um, link to them. And I went up in there, and if you're in that area, it's called the Texas Pecan Rub, made here in Texas. A lot of people know about Suckle Busters. I had some of this in the cabinet, so I'm going to use the rest of this today. Um, I use a lot of different rubs. Like I said, I make my own too, but um, I'm going to be using the Suckle Busters on top of this. So what I want to do, go ahead and open up this, this um, rub. Got me a shaker. Put this joker over here. Pretty liberal. Go ahead and put that down. Take my paper towel on them. Turn that over. Some more shakes on there. And you gotta shake this up, guys, because sometimes your heart your your harder granules will fall to the bottom. Get this all over. Turn it on its side. Get some more shaking going on. Boom. Get right there. And we're gonna get this other side also. All 
right, so we got some of that on there. So what we're gonna be doing next, let's go ahead and put the suckle busters on there. Get that all over, it's gonna look pretty. That's gonna have some color on it. Guarantee it's gonna be pretty when it comes out. Turn this over. All right. I'm gonna turn it over again. Put the rubber on the other side. Follow my hand around, guys. Kind of rubbing the rub as I go. But really, you're not gonna rub this rub in. You wanna just? I'm gonna show you what you're gonna do after that. Just rub on that side. Like I said, I apologize for the lighting. When we go outside, this is gonna be a little bit better. Get that all over that. Turn it back over. Like I said, I'm gonna use the rest of this what I have in here. I'm just gonna put it all over this thing, guys. I want a lot of flavor in this meat today. It's looking good. Get some more on this side. Spaces I might missed. All right, and there you go. All seasoned up. It's gonna be ready. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna let this sit right here on the. Uh, and I'm going to put this in a foil pan. Let's go ahead and put it in the foil pan. I'm going to let it sit. Get my air cleaned up. And stay tuned because next time we, you'll be coming back and we'll be outside. Be getting the fires ready. Get ready to put this on. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? Back outside now. Going to continue with our video of how you're going to make this pulled pork. So what I, do, what I got right now, guys, I'm going to show you how I got my fire set up before I put this um, shoulder on. Um, so we got, I'm going to be doing this today on my Weber Summit. Um, I love this thing. I've had it for about a year now. Um, really holds temperature well. So it can get hot also if you're trying to just do hot and fast, um, items. Um, you can see as I got my fire going, it's almost at 250. Um, we're going to be trying to get this to 275. This is where we're going to be trying to cook today. Um, I'm going to use my trusty little ready check thermometer right here. Um, as you can see, and I'm going to show you some cool things about this thing. It's going to open up. You can, first thing I want to show you, you know, you got this damper right here. If I want to get this heat up real fast, all I got to do is open this damper up at the top, open it wide up, and open the flow at the bottom, and it really comes up, guys. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and open it up and show you what I got going. Well, let's hope you can see that. What I got, I got some um, long lasting charcoal today. I used some um, Kingsford long lasting charcoal let me reach over here and see if i can get this for you guys let me show you i found something in the store i want to try it today the kings for long burning see how that works today guys and what i got um today guy i got some apple wood i'm going to be using today in this smoker right here and i'm gonna put these gloves on um basically indirect cooking guys this thing is going to set up an indirect because i'm going to show you exactly why and what i mean by indirect Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take this grate now. All right, I got this baffle plate right here. I'm gonna set this in here. That's gonna keep the thing, the smoker from getting a little too hot, but it's also gonna cause my heat. Um, what I have is I got these two dampers. I can open and close if I wanna add wood or anything, but if I close them, all the heat kind of comes up slowly around this meat. So let's put this um, grating back over here. And what I'm gonna add today, I'm gonna add this water pan. You really don't need a water pan. This is, you really want a drip pan, but I got one just big enough just for my meat to sit on. Um, and then we're gonna add the grating back right here, okay? And got that down right there, got that pulled down. Let's go ahead and put my, um, I can take these gloves off now. Let's go ahead and get my um, temperature set up 
on my ready check. I'm gonna put this thing somewhere in the vicinity, kind of over the water a little bit. Maybe not too much, but I don't want to hit right over the dead center of the heat coming out on the side. Cause it does get hot right here on the sides about this smoker, guys. Let's get this closed down. Let's get us backed up the heat. And we're going to get it back to heat. And then once we do that, we're going to be throwing our shoulder on. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So I want to show you something. Got a temperature up where we're close to where we're going to be today. It's about 275. I'm reading a little hotter at the temp. About 286 on my ready check. Let me see if you can see that. About 286. But uh, that should come down once I put my meat in. Um, I got my shoulder over here. And today, guys, a lot of guys do fat side um, down. Um, I'm going to be doing fat side up today. I want to watch this um, this fat bust today. Um, and I want a pretty with a cross hatch right there. Even though it's going to be being pulled, just something I like. I'm kind of visual, so I like want to see it. So let's go ahead and open this up. And I got this um, pork butt, pork shoulder, as you call it, on a little rack right here. I kind of scoot it over, as you can see. This is easy for um, being portable. I can take it off and on, put it on different things. Um, I'm going to set this right here in the middle of this rack. Right there. Right in the middle. Okay, scoot it back a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm going to be throwing uh, my meat thermometer right here, dead center, in the thickest part of the meat. I'll probably come on this side right here. on down thickest part of the meat right there give me my temperature readings and go ahead and get this closed and get the smoking stay tuned we'll come back we'll check it show you something else I got right now real quick before I let you go for a little bit got a little spray right here this is a little spray bottle you need something like this guys um, all it is is apple juice a little apple cider vinegar about two or three tablespoons of apple cider vinegar about two or three cups of um, apple juice and some Texas Peak hot sauce gonna be hitting that every now and then all right stay tuned All right, so I'm back and let's go ahead and take a look at it because you know it's been on about since about 9:30 and it's about 1:45. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Let's go ahead and get it open. Oh man, it's looking pretty good. Look at that crust coming out. Looking real good. Got a good glare from the sun. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit it with this spray. Looking real good. Look at that color. Awesome. Juice is dripping up in there. All right, so we're gonna keep it, keep it going. Let it get a little more color, as you can see. We'll come back and check it after this. when it gets a little more color. About maybe about 165, maybe. Right now it's about 145 internal tip. 
Let's close her back. All right, guys, we're back. We'll get ready to wrap this joker. See where my smoker is holding it. Right there before 300, 270, 280. Let's go to open and take a look. Ooh, man, oh man. Look at the color of that thing. Bone's starting to come out a little bit. All right, so I'm going over here. Open this up and set the camera. I got me some foil. But we'll double wrap this in foil today, guys. Go over here and set it over here. So you can see what I'm doing. Alright, come back over here and I'm gonna get ready to wrap this thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this off. The internal temperature is about 169, 170. Put these over here because I ain't going to need them. You got to keep my foil down though. And I'm just going to... I got some uh, little claws right here. I'm going to take this temperature probe out. I'm gonna put it back in once I wrap it. So I'm just gonna wrap it from the bottom. I'm not really tearing this apart or nothing. Just grabbing it at the bottom. Put it right there in the middle. Spray it down. Get some moisture in there. They're from all sides. Take this, wrap it tight. Get real tight. Bring the, bring the last part over. Or you can wrap it how you want. There you go. Take it. Put it right back on that rack. Put my uh, meat thermometer back in where I had it. Right there. Should be all right. And that's how it should look, guys. Going back over here. Don't let it come up. Pass that stall. And we should be ready to go by the time we take it back off. Stay tuned. Hey, what's up, guys? We're back. We finished. We got the finished product down here and we're going to be, I'll let it rest for about 30 minutes and let's see how this joker looks. So it came up to about the temperature, it came up to about 200, I let it come up. We're going to open this up in the foil. Right there. Now this thing is hot. So we're going to have to find this bone, guys. And the first thing I'm going to do is to test. If I can. And that's how you know it's tender. Just like that. See how that bone come out? They had to do any effort. They had to scratch. And that's how you know it's tender. Just like that. See how that bone come out? They had to do any effort. They had to scrape away anything. And I got some little meat claws because I know it's hot. And let's just pull this apart to show you how tender and how juicy that is. Look at that. Look at that right there. Look at that bark going into that. All that is juicy. All that is. Looking real good. I'm about to do a taste test. I got my, my dad over here. He gonna come over here. He gonna tell me how you like it. Don't lie. <laughs> really? <laughs> gonna get you a little piece right there, Pop. See what he, what he thinking. Wait on it. That's good and tender. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, not looking good. Mm -hmm. 
You gotta have some of that skin. Mm-hmm. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you, tender. Man, that, look at that. That skin right there. That's tender right there, guy. I can pull that part. Look at that. Ooh, that's burning. <laughs> the money muscle over here, guys. I didn't get to show you, but I pulled it away. He's over here on the other side, but you know, these pulled porks, they got different muscles, so. But that's about it, guys, and that's what I wanted to show you, and that's how you make pulled pork. That's how I make pulled pork. Everybody has a different way. So if you like it, subscribe, share, and um, tag people. Tag this video, and until um, next time, toothpicks.